Hello, my name is Loretta Hayes and I am from Hayes Sewing Machine Company and welcome back to our creative videos. We thought we'd switch it up this morning and we would take and give you a tour of the Hayes thread wall uh, with the many possibilities of thread. No end of times we see customers just standing in front of the thread going like, which one should I use? <laughs> So we thought a video might be kind of fun to, to do that. So we're going to start, or I'm going to start, uh, with um, practical threads, all-purpose threads. These threads are 50 weight threads generally, and I'm going to start on our first rack in our thread wall, which is the Metrocene 100% polyester core spun. So it is a 50 weight thread, it says it right on the stand, and you will notice that the thread has a red end to it. So we're going to pop this up, hopefully that goes in there good enough. So you can see the red thread on the end there, uh, the red color of the spool on the end there. Um, so when you come and you are looking for just all purpose thread, you want to make a pillow, you want to make a bag, uh, you're doing curtains, you want to mend something. The 50 weight polyester thread is super, super strong and it's thin, so it doesn't cause a, a problem with thicker fabrics. So great thread to do as kind of my general all-purpose thread. Now interestingly enough, it comes in three different sizes. So the size that we see here has got 164 yards on it. So 164 yards, if you were making a dress, you would so totally be able to make a dress, you would be able to fill the bobbin, you wouldn't be running out of thread mid-project. But let's say that it's a more basic color and you're like, ooh, I'd like to have a little bit more white, black, cream, khaki, those kinds of colors. So then we have the same thread, but in larger amounts. So you can see, this one here is going to have about 550 yards. It's actually got 547. And so it still has that red end to the spool. So you know that it's still a polyester thread, still that 50 weight thread that we want. And if that isn't enough, then you could come to this size. And this size has about 1,100 yards. Once again, still going to have our red ends, but it's just going to give you more thread. So if you're looking for bulk, super, super cool 50 weight thread. Now, what about if you're a quilter? Okay, oftentimes traditional quilting, we want to do a cotton thread. And so a cotton thread uh, is also 50 weight, the all purpose. And so that is going to be located in the Mettler uh, silk finish. Now, I'm not sure why they call it silk finish other than maybe it looks silky when it's finished, but it is 100% mercerized cotton thread. So once again, you're going to have a color coding. So you can, you know, it's like granimals for thread. Mm. So we can come in and you will notice that the quilting thread, the cotton thread that's 50 weight, is going to have a purple end to it as opposed to the red end in the polyester. So once again, we have two different sizes. Better put it back where I'm supposed to here. <laughs> so you'll see that you have a large variety of uh, different colors in the 164 yard size, but we also have the 547 yard size in those basic colors. So like for me as a quilter, you know, these light grays and these cream and taupey colors, oh, I use them all the time. And so fabulous, fabulous threads. 50 weight thread. And what you need to know on this thread is that it is a three ply thread. And we need to know that because we're gonna do another thread in just a second here that's not. All right, so can we move down to the Orifel? So we're coming down, and as a quilter, once again, basic colors, and these are the Aurifil threads. 
Uh, cleverly enough, they still have kind of a reddish, you know, a, a colored end. And this one is orange, okay? Still a 50 weight thread, but a two ply thread. And so when I am piecing, particularly if I'm doing blocks that have tons of seams in them, I will choose the Aurifil every single time. Um, it's a fabulous piecing thread. Um, when you press your seam over, so, you know, with quilting, we're not, we're rarely pressing the seams open. We're pressing it towards the darker fabric. Um, and when you press it over, this lays flatter. So 50 weight, but two ply. The Mettler, 50 weight, but three ply. So with the Aurifil, we just carry the basic piecing colors. So you've got black, you've got navy, you've got several shades of gray, you've got several shades of taupe, you've got several shades of white. Um, you could use it to do machine quilting, that would be fine. Um, it's not as strong because it's a two ply. So if you're doing things like free motioning and your thread is breaking on a regular basis, know that it probably is the thread and not your machine. Now, a couple of other all-purpose threads. Behind me here are cones. These are maxi-lock cones. So these are also 100% polyester. There's 3,000 yards on it. So you go, all those quilters out there are going, ooh, charity quilts, let me piece it with that. And you could, you could. But serger thread is not the same quality as your regular sewing thread. Um, but certainly when you're serging, you use a ton more thread because it's doing the finishing and the seams at the same time. Uh, so we have tons and tons of colors of, uh, of your uh, serging thread. Once again, a 50 weight thread, an all purpose thread. Now, one last all purpose thread. We're gonna back up a hair here. And this, is outdoor living thread. It's a 50 weight thread, um, but it's been treated for UV. Let me pop it up real close. Bottom. Bottom? Bottom? Here. Okay. Just so they can see it. All right, good enough. All right, so uh, the if you're doing sunbrella, if you're doing uh, anything really that's going to be outside, you know, so patio furniture, cushions, all of those kinds of things, uh, sun porch stuff, uh, this is going to make it so that you can make those cushions and you can have those cushions for years. Uh, whereas if we do, say, just a regular polyester thread or certainly a cotton thread, uh, you're going to probably get a season out of it and then you're going to have to do it again. So super, super cool. It only comes in very limited colors. You're going to have white, black, steel, which is a light gray, uh, the red cherry, which is red, Monaco blue, which is royal blue, dark midnight, which is navy, Scots green, which is a dark green, and buff, which is basically khaki. Um, and so basic colors, but um, super, super cool thread if you're working outside. So that in our thread wall covers the practical threads. But there's a whole lot more thread here. What's all of that for? So the next thread we're gonna go to is a 40 weight thread. So the thing that you need to know about the weights of threads is they're exactly opposite to the sizes of needles. On a size of a needle, if the number goes bigger, you get a wampin' big thread, yeah, big needle. Okay, so if I'm on using a 100 size 100 slash 16 needle, that's a big needle, okay? On thread, it works exactly the opposite. So 50 weight thread is kind of our normal thread, and 40 weight thread is one step thicker. The number goes down as the, the thickness goes up. So we have a couple of 40 weight threads, and 40 weight threads tend to be used for either quilting or embroidery. So we're gonna start over with the Mettler. And the Mettler has a spool that has either brown ends or they're changing out the spools just to keep Loretta's life interesting or brown printing on the white spool. 
So this thread is actually called quilting thread. So it should give you an idea of what we're doing with it. It's 100% cotton thread. 40 weight is going to give your quilting just a little bit more pop. And so this, so this stand right here, um, is going to give you uh, 164 yards on the spool and there's, oh, I don't know, 25, 30, maybe 40 spools there. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to do quick math. So roughly 10, yeah, probably about 40. Um, <laughs> Pam's laughing at me. Um, so it gives you a lot of choice. Once again, there's a few larger uh, spools for the more basic colors. So if I'm doing that and I want my quilting to pop on my sewing machine, that's probably what I'm going to do. But what if you have a long arm? Okay, let's walk down a little bit. And we will stop at the, uh, the Madura, Madeira Aero Quilt. I'm always Aurophil and Aero Quilt. I have to double check myself. So this is coned thread that is 40 weight it is a polyester thread as opposed to a cotton and so for long arms because the speed of long arms and the fact that the thread will lint up a lot if it's a cotton they have developed this thread specifically for long arms it won't snap it won't shred it's not a fussy thread to work with but once again a 40 weight so your quilting is going to pop a little bit more once again, they've done all kinds of great colors. Uh, so we have all kinds of solid colors, <clears throat> but they've also done fabulous, fabulous variegated colors. So we'll just give a, an idea. There are 3,000 yards on each one of these spools. Um, so you can do <clears throat> multiple quilts, got a frog, uh, multiple quilts on uh, using this thread. Even with the long arm bobbins, which are going to hold a ton of thread, you're still going to have multiple quilts. So 40 weight thread for quilting, long arm, okay, for the sewing machine, the Mettler cotton thread, 40 weight. But what say, what happens if you go, but I really like this thread and I don't have a long arm. What do we do then? No problem. Pam, just stay here for a second. Cone thread likes to feed from the top, which is why long arms have those little thread racks at the top. So you can use this thread. Everybody can use this thread. You put it onto a, an auxiliary cone holder. Up, up, down. Okay. All right. And then you bring your thread up. And I set this to the, the right-hand side back of the machine. So kind of back behind where the flywheel would be bring it up through and then thread like normal. So everybody can use this thread. You just can't put this thread on a regular sewing machine. You need the auxiliary thread rack. And honestly, guys, not an expensive accessory, uh, 1049. So not, not a ton to, to add to your thread stash. Now, what about 40 weight thread for embroidery? So for embroidery threads, embroidery threads tend to be done in either polyester or rayon. So this stand here is all 40 weight polyester embroidery thread. So when you look at an embroidery thread uh, that's 40 weight, you will see that it has a lot more shine than the cotton or polyester uh, threads that are 40 weight. So why would we do a polyester thread versus a um, regular thread for embroidery? We do it because we're used to seeing it in anything that we buy. So if you buy a Nike shirt and it's got the Nike swish on it, you have a super tight fill and you have that sheen because they have commercially used this type of thread. So we can take and duplicate that uh, by using it to, to the, this thread instead of regular thread. Can you do embroidery with regular thread? Sure, 
no problem. You're just not going to get the look that you want. So the polyester thread comes in about 250 colors. Uh, it has about 250 yards on a spool, so it goes quite a, a distance with it. It is fabulous when you are working gifts. So everybody has an embroidery machine. The first thing that they do, they go, oh, let me monogram some towels. And you're like, oh, I'll give this as a gift. So if you take and do it in polyester thread and your friend takes and washes that towel and bleaches it, when it comes out of the dryer, the color of the thread is going to be the same. If we do it with rayon thread, which is also 40 weight, also fabulous for doing embroidery, um, and we bleach it, it's going to fade like a cotton thread would. So the, they would have an unmatching towel. So like, let's say you did four towels, four hand towels, and four washcloths. If you do it with rayon, uh, you'll have one towel that doesn't match. And here's the thing, guys. Okay, they're going to come back to you if you do that and say, could you re-embroider this towel so it matches the rest of my, my towels? And the answer to that is no. You can be a really good friend and say, bring me another towel. I'll go ahead and embroider it again. But once that towel is out of the hoop, it is a nightmare trying to get things lined back up again. So if you're doing gifts, polyester embroidery thread. So why the rayon thread if the polyester thread is so much better in that manner? The, the rayon threads have been around longer and you get more color choice. So 250 uh, colors in polyester sounds like, ooh, that's a lot of thread, okay? 500 spools of uh, embroidery thread in rayon is a lot more colors. It's twice as much by my math. You also get things in rayon that you cannot get in polyester. Um, so in the sulky line, if you want variegation, you're going to be doing a rayon thread. Okay, and they have lots of really luscious, luscious variegations. This is just kind of the purpley ones going along in there. Um, you also are going to get where your with your color choice you'll have different projects that you need that extra color choice. One of the things that I have at home is I have a Beatrix Potter um, design disc. At Beatrix Potter, she painted in a very, very set kind of palette uh, of colors. And so what I find is I can get probably half of those in the polyester, but the rest of them I need to do in the rayon because they just don't have that choice in the polyester. So very, very cool, gives you more color choice, still shiny, still fills in. And really, unless you're in a situation like monogram towels or maybe like baby things that are gonna get washed, you, I work with them in, you know, interchangeably. In my, at my studio, I have my threads divided by color, not by thread type. So it, for my embroidery threads, so if I'm looking for a blue and I'm going to be monogramming towels, I look in my box that gives me uh, my blues and then I look at the end of the spool and it will say polydeco for the, the um, polydeco thread for the poly, oh, one more, excuse me, polydeco. <laughs> uh, my eyes in the back of my head are just not as developed as the front ones. All right, so polyester thread going there. Uh, and then it'll say rayon on the other. So it tells you, but I divide them up. And oftentimes I'll embroider a design with both types of thread. And, and you can't tell the difference between them. So 40 weight threads, either quilting or embroidery. For the embroidery, it can be polyester and or rayon. Uh, for the quilting, it can be cotton. And then the cone would be polyester. All right, so let's move down just a little bit. So we're coming in and we're like, so, okay, Loretta, we've got all these threads, but what are these threads? These are pretty variegations. What's the deal with these? So these are the sulky blendables and the sulky cotton solids. Um, they come in two weights. 
So they come in a 30 weight thread. So once again, the number is getting smaller and the thread is getting bigger. And a 12 weight thread, and the 12 weight thread is as large as you can really comfortably run through the needle on your sewing machine. So if you take a look at this stand, and we'll do these brighter colors because I think it'll show up better. Um, when you come in to do these, they are, the stand is divided in two sections. So over here on the left, there are orange tabs, and you will notice that there is an orange tab at the end of the spool. And over here on this side, it's in regular writing, and it's got a brown tab. And so Pam is like saying, bring them forward. All right, so which one did I get? I think I got those, okay. So this thread here, brown tab, orange tab. So brown tab is 30 weight, orange tab is 12. This is the same color, but the difference is the thickness of the thread. I'm gonna try and stick these on my hand and we'll see if we can see a difference. Can you see them? Mm -hmm. So this one over here is the 12 weight and this one is the 30 weight. Got it. So when you look at the stand, you're like, I'm seeing doubles, and you are, because when you're looking at them, these two are the same variegation as these two. So these two are the same variegation as these two. Pam says that my hand was too low. All right, so each one of the stands is set up the same way. So we have a division, 30 weight, uh, 12 weight. If you look here, you've got 30 weight on the right hand side, 12 weight on the left, and the same thing for the cottons. So 30 weight and 12 weight. So when you're working with these threads, these are bigger, bolder threads. They're gonna make, you know, they'd be lovely for quilting, fabulous for top stitching. So if you really want that kind of jeans look to the, the hemline of your jeans, like let's say you're re, you're re um, we sell a ton of these different kind of orange to, to golds and even up to the taupe because every company in, in the jeans world seems to do a different color um, and they are fabulous for doing. There is one thing that you need to know about these threads and that is you want to use a top stitching needle when you're doing that. So a top stitching needle is gonna come on a green background. Okay. And they recommend right on the end of the spool that you use either a 90 or a 100 uh, top stitching needle. And the top stitching needle, the reason why you want that is the eye of the needle is about three times the size of a regular eye. And so it will accommodate these thicker threads and make it so that it's much easier for you to sew. If you were using a regular size needle with a regular eye, you might find that these will shred on the eye of the needle. So that's really the only thing that you need to do. When I quilt with them personally, if I'm doing say maybe some, a bunch of walking footwork, I tend to get both sizes. I get the 30 weight size to rewind on my bobbin because I can rewind so much more onto my bobbin. And even like your big bobbins, so if you have like a big bobbin Bernina, um, if you do 12 weight threads, you're not gonna get a ton of thread on there. So I will do the 30 weight on the bottom and then I will do the 12 weight on the top so that I get that really thick pop for the thread. You can get the same colors, not an issue to do that. Awesome. All right, so a couple of other threads that need these top stitching needles. Let's walk on back this way. And we're gonna land on Glamour, which is my ultimate favorite metallic thread. So you can see it's nice and glitzy, uh, comes in a ton of different colors to do, even has some variegated ones. And when you're doing Glamour, it is also a 12 weight thread. So just like the 12 weight blendables, we need to use that top stitching needle. 
The reason why I love Glamour is because it is two strands of rayon thread and one strand of metallic and they're twisted together. And metallic threads can be a little bit fussy. And so when I do Glamour, it, it really runs just like a 12 weight thread. It's not a fussy thread. Um, it's super, super fun and easy to, to work with. Um, you can also take Glamour, and for that matter, the blendables, um, you can do them in your serger. So Pam is handing me a sample so that you can see what it would look like in the loopers of your serger. Um, do you have a, it looks to me like you've got a blendable there too. So this is a blendable in a serger. So super, super cool. All right, so 12 weight thread. Okay, one last one to do is top stitching thread. So top stitching thread, just looking for one that has a little bit. It also is 12 weight-ish. It doesn't actually have a weight on the spool, but once again, really need to have that top stitching needle when you're running the, the top stitch thread. And top stitching comes in, once again, about 40 colors. So you could do that. Top stitching thread is polyester as opposed to the cotton. And it's also called button twist. I'm sure you can hear her behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> she says, it also is called buttonhole twist. So if you used to get buttonhole twist, it's now called top stitching, basically the same thread. All right, so we're doing fabulously here. Couple more threads that are cool and fun to do. Let's go back towards the metallics, Pam. So we have metallic thread, okay? And metallic thread comes in uh, two different ways in the Sulky line. It comes in what I would consider regular metallic, uh, which gives us uh, kind of a, a monofilament core and the, the metallic fiber, it, fiber is wrapped around it. And then they do holla shimmer, which is metallic thread with an attitude. Holla shimmer reminds me of very thin tinsel. So when you get to doing these two threads, lots and lots of colors, lots and lots of choice, uh, but once again, we need to change out needles. So where before we were talking about the top stitching needle, for metallic, they have their own needle. So it's going to be called, cleverly enough, a metallic needle. And the difference between a metallic needle and a top stitching needle is the polishing they do on the needle. Metallic threads are more fussy, uh, and they tend to get caught on the eye of the needle a little more. So by super polishing that, that um, metallic needle, uh, it's allowing the thread to flow through so much better. Once again, much larger eye as well to accommodate that. And just by the way, metallic threads, so much happier if they're running vertically. So if your machine puts your thread sideways and you have the opportunity to put a, a extra spool pin uh, that runs vertically, I would always choose for metallic thread and also for monofilament thread, which I will find right here, here we go, okay, which is the clear kind of plastic thread. If they run this way, as opposed to laying sideways, they tend not to slinky off. Metallic thread tends to kind of get that slinky effect and it'll start to double wrap around guides. And you'll be sewing along and you'll hear ping, 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 and the thread breaks. And then you go ahead and you re-thread it up and you sew a little bit further along and then it's ping, 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 and it thread, the thread breaks. By simply flipping the spool vertically, it allows the weight of the spool to keep that slinky straight so that it can flow through your machine so much better. All right, let me get that one back where it's supposed to be. All right, so we've got our metallic threads covered. A uh, couple of just kind of incidental threads <coughs> up here at the top. We have bobbin thread. Bobbin thread is a super lightweight thread. So you're like a 60 weight thread. So we're going the other way, um, finer than our uh, all purpose thread. 
And it is what its name says. It, you rewind it and put it on the bobbin. So if I'm doing things like embroidery, certainly hooped embroidery, decorative stitches, applique, places where I don't want to have to constantly change and rewind a matching bobbin uh, to my top thread, bobbin fill is awesome. And bobbin fill comes in so you know in black and white so it, like you just match the backing of your fabric if your fabric is dark you do the black if your fabric is light you do the white all right coming on down this group of thread is called poly light and it like the bobbin fill is 60 weight thread so let's say that you need bobbin thread that matches exactly. I would come to poly light as opposed to my bobbin uh, fill thread. Uh, comes in tons of colors, also comes in variegations. It is also fabulous thread if you're trying to create texture. It's a polyester thread, it has a little bit of shine to it, but it's so, so fine that I have done uh, quilts where I had tons of multicolors and I just kind of wanted the thread to disappear. And instead of doing monofilament, I just came and did the poly light, rewound that top and bottom, and it creates that great texture, but the thread is really not gonna be the star of the show. It also is fabulous for quilters with embroidery machines. If you're doing quilt labels where the letters are teeny tiny and you're finding the 40 weight embroidery thread is like filling in the whole of your O's and your A's and those kinds of letters. If you swap and go to the poly light at the 60 weight, uh, you'll have nice crisp letters. So a great way to do your quilting label. All right, one more stand and we are done. So down here, uh, underneath our Glamour, we have two stands, one that is called Decora, and one that is uh, an Overlock Inspirations. So the Decora is a 12 weight thread. So once again, we're back to doing our um, top stitching needle, but these are definitely more decorative. So if we're doing 12 weight over there, uh, for the blendables is a cotton, which is kind of a matte finish. If we're doing the Decora, we are going to have shiny. So it can be variegated. It can be solid. Let me bring them up close so you can kind of see. So you get that nice, nice shade. So uh, if you wanted to couch, if you wanted to do, uh, once again, the um, serger edge, the 12 weight would run beautifully through your um, loopers. Uh, so think shiny when you think decor, and you'll see on the side that it says 12 weight thread. Now the Overlock Inspirations is just that. There are two things, uh, two different weight, two different content thread in the Overlock Inspirations. Uh, the first one is a cotton so it is a thick thread, but a cotton thread. And the second one is a rayon uh, that is also thick. And they are so thick, they are a six and a four. So we are talking, you know, we were talking 12 weight running through the needle. Six and a four are not running through your needle. They're just going to give you um, a, you know, problems going through. So this can be, you know, it's marketed as an, as an overlock thread to get run in your loopers. However, it is a fabulous thread if you want to couch your threads. So uh, Baby Lock, Bernina make couching feet where you put the thread through the foot and then you zigzag over top of it or straight stitch over top of it. It will give you a gorgeous, gorgeous look in a couch, but not running through the needle. So I hope that this gives you an idea of some of the threads on the Haze thread wall. There are tons and tons of threads out there, guys. Uh, we try to have a nice uh, assortment so that you can have a, a particular thread for your particular project. So we'll see you next time uh, on our creative videos. Thanks for hanging out.